What is going on guys? So we are going to talk about joining the best freaking military in the entire world, but if you're not a citizen of the United States of America. So one of the questions that I get a lot that I haven't really known the answer to that well was, you know, joining the military if you're not a citizen, if you weren't a citizen prior to now and that whole enlistment process, what is that like? I really haven't known much about this at all because I'm not, I was born here, I was raised here. I didn't have to go through all the additional background checks and stuff. So uh, whether you are not a citizen currently, whether you uh, recently became a citizen, you have a green card, visa or whatever, we're gonna talk about whether or not you are actually eligible or not. So obviously for citizens, you're good to go. Whether you were born here, born abroad, or naturalized citizen, you fall into the same category. You're a U.S. citizen, you can process. If you're born abroad, we just need the FS240, born abroad birth certificate. If you're a naturalized citizen, we need your naturalization certificate. And that includes if you have a derived naturalization from your parents because they were naturalized when you were under the age of 18. If you're not a citizen and you have a legal permanent resident status, you have an I-551 green card, you can still process. The difference to your enlistment process is, is that when you join, you join with a space holder MOS. You're not going to join with a guaranteed job in your contract. But the contract you're signing is not your last contract. That is to the contract to initiate your background investigation. So when you sign up at MEPS, you're going to sign with a space holder MOS and a a made up ship date of one year from the day you sign. What that is, is it gives the Army time to investigate your background because they do a more in-depth investigation for non-citizens. After your citizenship comes back and you're cleared for enlistment, you're gonna go back down and do a renegotiation of your contract. That second contract is when you will pick your MOS and you're gonna pick your actual ship date that everyone else that joins gets. So you will have a guaranteed one in your contract, just not until after the investigation is closed. So yeah, that, that's something that's actually really important is a lot, a lot of people ask, you know, how long is it going to take if you're not a citizen or whatever, but the big thing there is the background check and going through that extra big process. So if you do want to join and you were not initially born here and you have the green card and everything, uh, do realize it is going to take a lot longer than if you were just a citizen born here, you qualified and everything. All right, so if you're not a citizen and you don't have a legal permanent resident status, at this time, you can't join. Not saying you won't ever be able to. In the past, we get calls all the time about the MAVNI program. MAVNI was open for people that had visas, uh, but they haven't actually opened that back up again recently. So stay tuned. We'll announce it when it comes back up. Or by all means, call your local recruiting office and just say, hey, my name is so-and-so. Is MAVNI open? It could be open in the future, but as of right now, guys, if you are not a citizen, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> yep. So one of the questions that I got on my Instagram post whenever I was saying that I was going to do this video with these recruiters is somebody had mentioned that they were prior service in another uh, another country's military. Is that going to affect you at all if they're a citizen now in the United States? No, it shouldn't affect you. Obviously, we're going to have to look into your service, get records from it and things like that. But that goes just for the same as a prior service military from here. You can still join. We're just going to have to check into it and make sure everything lines up first. Okay, so basically, bottom line, if you're a citizen, you're good to go. All right, so that is going to be it for this short, simple, sweet, and to the point video about joining the military, whether you are or are not a citizen of the United States of freaking America. All right, so if you guys are interested in joining, you're in the Huntersville area, make sure you guys check them out. Links are going to be in the description down below. That's it for me. Make sure you guys hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you check out some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, social media. Links are right here. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day, and I'll see you later. Try.